Hello YouTube. We're making it a simple jig to hold flat piece in the vise. If you don't have a swivel vise, you have a big enough vise, you could probably stick it in the jaw this way to hold it. Just depends on how heavy of work you're doing. Okay, we just took one of these cheapy clamps, you know where they came from. Nasty color. And we cleaned it up. Okay. You see where we got it marked back in here? Wipe all it. Everything's magnetic. This has to be level. So we're going to grind this off so this is all level. We may put a notch in the piece of metal. This is about three inches by one and three quarters. Because the thing's going to come down here. It's kind of a little table. Say you want to hold a little flat part and work on it. 3 sixteenths, which is way too big. thick, But we want to countersink the screw. So that's an advantage to have it thick. Okay, and another thing we did was, we're going to be drilling a hole through those, so we leveled that out. Get in focus. We're going to drill this way with our hole, but you don't have to be exact in center. No one's going to see it but you, because it's going to be setting like this all the time. You'll never notice it. So let's level this part up and get that piece of steel fitted to it. We'll make this a real quick video. Four and a half inch sander flapper disc, and we'll finish leveling it with a file. We want it level as possible. And always look for pictures at the end of the video for things that I may not, might not have talked about. You can do this. Okay, get ready for some big words. Now, here's your objective. This does not have to be perfect. See the gap in there and see the gap way to the left. But I have a flat spot filed out here, right in the back. And we're going to notch this piece of metal back here. That's to keep this from twisting and turning. There's only going to be a little bolt holding it. As long as it looks halfway straight, because you're just clamping stuff with it. And this is going to be flat, and that's all that matters. As long as it looks good. I think you know what I mean. Well, we'll notch the back of that out. Make your center line on your metal. We'll make a little notch back there. You can't see it within there, but there is a flat spot I found. And I did cheat and use a Dremel to remove a lot of metal. And I did a lot of hand filing of it. I said, it's just so it looks good. It's going to be bolted down. It's, it's, it's just going to be a little table thing like that. So... I said, let's keep this short. We'll be back when we make that little notch and show you there. And then we'll come back again and show you when we got it drilled and bolted. So then we'll be done. Quick tip. I should have put them at the end. I drilled that like 3 16th. That's a metric bolt. It don't quite fit. Just take like a Dremel bit like this. Just ream the hole out a little bit. Because I don't want to go any bigger. You know, so just do that. Because I don't have any metric bits. So... And the next size up from 3 16ths is way too big. Okay, now we're going to put our plate in here. And we're going to go this way to mark it to drill through the plate. Okay, we're doing a test bit. We're going to grind it out so the nut don't catch it. Because that can make it worse. I'd rather put a wrench on there if I have to tighten it up. Okay, we marked that around there with a scratch all. Because now we're going to countersink the screw. And sorry if I can't tell you what millimeter this bolt is. It's close to a 3 16th. Uh, you have to wait till I get back to the box, and then maybe I'll tell you next time. So back to work. Okay, we're going to show you when counter thing. See how much material's left down in there? You see that? That's probably about, what, 330 seconds. It's not an eighth of an inch. That's enough to hold this. That's why I want a thick piece of metal. So, when I always say countersink, because I'm using a regular drill bit, so it's not proper. It's not a countersink. Uh, level. We can grind the top of this off, okay? Back up. We're going to sand the top of this off. And we still have enough to get an Allen ridge there if we have to tighten it. Uh, should be three millimeter. Oh, these are five millimeter diameter bolts. See, it's still deep enough socket. 
He's running my set. I hate taking them out and leaving them out. You can lose them. I thought I'd better show you that. Somebody's going to ask me, how do you counter sick drum? Well, let's get down in here. We'll take a picture of that right there. And you'll be able to see how thick that is. Okay, and we are done. And there you go. We may paint that someday. If we do, it probably be blue. And that's all inset in there. So it's... it's, it. it's you want to hold something flat and work on it. That's the whole idea. Maybe not necessarily drill it, but if you just make a lot of the same parts, you could drill it and drill a hole in here. It would never hurt to have a hole in that. I mean, it, it's a working device. It's going to have a whole lot to get your drill in there, though. But the whole things I'm working on, grinding, that's like probably like a two-inch square piece of metal. But there you go. We are done. Look for all the pictures because there's pictures of stuff I might not have talked about. And thanks for watching.